Ruben looks like the STD he gives you is cholesterol. <laughs> it's diabetes, bitch. Oscar looks like Mojo Jojo's retarded cousin. <laughs> Mojo pendejo. <laughs> All right, uh, gotta Google that. Um, Ruben smokes weed, but the only thing getting high is his blood pressure. <laughs> fat jokes, are we 12, bro? What the fuck? You're fat, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, no, no. Close my eyes and roast you? What the fuck? Oscar looks like a bear fun-sized chicken nugget. He knows a lot about chicken nuggets, man. Uh... <laughs> when Ruben started doing stand-up, he used to go by the name Baby or Chata. Now people just know him as adult sexual offender. <laughs> Or, hey, you, what are you doing behind my car, right? <laughs> or did if, you put up... <laughs> Go ahead, man. If I saw Oscar by my car, this motherfucker would be stealing my catalytic converter. <laughs> I actually got one for sale after the show, if anybody's looking for one, right? My turn, good turn, I think. My turn, motherfucker. You like to do three jokes in one shot, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Oscar looks like if I told AI to make me a Mexican with Down syndrome. <laughs> that cheats on his wife with women bigger than him. You look like the real version of that shit, bro. Come on. Except for the bigger women, because we're the kind of Ruben is named after a sandwich because he's such a fat ass, right? <laughs> his parents knew this. So this full name is actually <laughs> Ruben B.O.T. Meat Lovers Pizza, nachos with extra cheese, white castle sliders, all you can eat buffet, pozole verde, chicken wings Ramirez. <laughs> He spent all day writing that shit, dog. <laughs> Motherfucker asked the whole family, did I spell this right? Uh, pendejo. Hey, bro, hey, hey, you don't gotta spell it right. Just <laughs> better guys, bro. <laughs> Oscar's favorite soccer team is called Necaxa, which is based in a spot called Aguas Calientes, Mexico which is also home of the largest gay population in Mexico. <laughs> which makes sense, because his favorite meat is chorizo. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. 2023, baby, okay. Uh... <laughs> Ruben almost got deported once. <laughs> but the bus he was in got a flat tire because he was too heavy. <laughs> They tried to cage them, but his fat ass didn't fit in the cage. So they just let him go and shit. Rose Battle Chicago couldn't find anyone to go against me, so their last resort was going on Lakeshore Drive and they'll pick out the refugee that spoke English. At least they picked me up. Nobody could pick your ass up, bro. <laughs> Not even a fork could have been shit. Your wife can. <laughs> I love tortas. That was actually your sister, bro. Anyway, though. Um... <laughs> Ruben buys Magnum condoms. Bullshit. Not because he has a big dick. He just needs somewhere to put his foot in when he loses it to diabetes. <laughs> diabetes joke? All right. <laughs> Oscar looks like an actual size Funko Pop for El Chapo with an extra chromosome. All right, final round, final round. Um, Ruben used to be an actor before he did stand-up. 
Which makes sense because when he bombs, he goes on social media and acts like he killed it. <laughs> All right. That was weak. That was weak. <laughs> Oscar looks like if Little Village had its own hall monitor. <laughs> All right, that's the round, everybody. Make some fucking noise! That was fucking fun. There we go. Hug you two. Fucking Horvath, start us off, man. What are your thoughts? That was great. Uh, best battle of the night. Give it up for these guys. Great battle. That was fantastic. Ruben, you said uh, you said he looks like Mojo... What was it? Mojo Jojo? <laughs> Powderpuff Girls reference. Mojo Jojo, I don't know who that is, but I like that you said retarded. Um, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it was great. Oscar, great delivery. Uh, you probably have some experience with that. Um, uh, sorry, that was... <laughs> I, 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 that one I actually do apologize for. Um, no, I mean, for real, best battle of the night. Great jokes on both sides. I think Ruben by a hair, man. All right, one for Ruben, one for Ruben. Yeah, this was the battle of the night, guys. So give it up for these two one more time, everybody. This was, this was excellent. I thought you both were very stoic. You just like withstood the blows and just came back with it, which was awesome. Nobody had more fun than this dude right here. <laughs> you know, this fucking guy, the Lone Sox fan, had the most fun out of anybody. <laughs> this was the most fun thing to witness happen. Just someone else's pure, unadulterated joy. Uh, I think what really got, what really decided it for me was that Oscar admitted defeat at the end, said his own joke was weak, and you can't do that in the heat of battle, so I give it to Ruben by a little oh, bit. Oh shit, two for Ruben, two for Ruben. I love how it was um, special needs versus diabetes. That was cool, it was fun to see. I always wanted to know what would happen if they battled. Uh, <laughs> messed up. Okay, um, Oscar, I loved your comeback. Uh, you're fat, bro. That was very... Very good. Um, the Mojo one, I actually got it. I watch Powerpuff Girls, so it's very good. I loved your AI joke as well. Um, but Oscar, uh, actually for me, just took it by a hair because of the joke. You, you brought like a prop, a menu. You, you read a menu for his name. So it was pretty good. Uh, I liked it. So Oscar for me. All right, two for Ruben, one for Oscar. Two for Ruben, one for Oscar. That was a really fun battle. Um, Oscar looks like he sells tamales, and then Ruben looks like he's his pimp. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and it was clear. Uh, Mojo, jo Mojo Jojo Bendejo is so funny. Uh, that's, that's one of those jokes that I hear, I'm just gonna say it to myself in the shower, and I'm like, be better. Uh, <laughs> Refugee tent, uh, refugee who spoke English is crazy. Uh, um, I did, although I'm an English teacher, I'm a fan of thesis statements. Oscar did say, you're fat, bro, up top, and that was his whole essay. Uh, which, I appre which I appreciated, because he is a small essay. Uh, 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 um, but I, I do gotta, because he is a pimp and he will beat me up because I didn't pay Oscar for the tamale, I do gotta give it to Ruben. So. Alright, three for Ruben, one for Oscar. Hey, real quick, real quick, if you guys enjoyed the show, we got a website, you can get Roast Battle Chicago merch. Kev, stand up. Oh my god. Oh, you mean this shirt? That you oh, get damn. RoastBattleChicago.com? Damn, okay, just like that. Alright, that's all. <laughs> Uh, I want to give it up for Oscar for coming to this country over the Rio Grande and the flotation device that he got here on named Ruben. Uh, this was really great. This is, a, this is a debut for Ruben. Give it up for Ruben on this. This is the first one for him. I really loved it. I'm going with Ruben. I really like Ruben. I thought Ruben hang, hanged in there. All right, four for Ruben. Ruben takes the round. Everybody makes a noise. Wow, that was awesome. I'm glad we brought the black people back up. That was cool. <laughs> Chris, I never left. <laughs> Ruben's hair looks like what girls do to Barbies when they're experimenting with it. <laughs> that one rocks. I actually, you know what, dude? I would have given mine to Oscar. I thought he was more consistent, even though Ruben had bigger pops. Like, like Oscar was fucking haymakers did the whole thing. You guys were awesome, man. Great job to both of you. All right, keep it going, bro. Let's go, man. Keep it going. Ruben and Oscar, everybody.